the people want it. Alrighty, here we go. Starting off on Pokemon Stadium 2, our new Smash Bros. for this game. We're going to see how this plays out. I mean, S2H has a lot of uh, experience fighting uh, both of these Marios. Uh, Zenyu in particular, like places like Hat, for example. Yeah. So we'll have um, to see and get this going. Yeah. S2H, of course, been Hat. He usually tends to fight Marios over at World's Call on Wednesdays. It's WCW. It takes place every Wednesday right, right around WNF. So let's we'll see how S2H is treating them, the matchup against Mario here. Different Marios have different strengths, even though they do borrow a little bit from each other in terms of their approach sometimes. Looks like uh, S2H is doing a good job of keeping up his offense, so Master Mario hasn't really been able to get anything going. He's been on the defense for most of the round so far. But you can see the oppression from S2H. Uh, he's a little bit, you can tell, he's a little bit more comfortable around Mario instead of Pichu, as opposed to how we saw him on the winner's side against the Cat. Yeah, I like what S2H did, DIing towards the center of the stage. That way he couldn't get a platform extension afterwards. Mm -hmm. This could uh, combo into more up airs, and of course Master Mario go to the ground and continue a new but that. Bad air dodge is going to fall right into that of support smash. He loves going for that. As S2H is trying and true, that's his favorite. Going for the forward smash, not only because it conditions his opponent to go for it, has good cooldown still. And it's it's a great option. Dragon on back air? Oh, I like that. Just takes to the skies, just baits out that get up attack, continues on with the aggression, gets a little bit more percent on the Master Mario, and here we go with the up airs, but going to be able to mash an air out of that scenario. Okay, get to the forward smash. Couple up airs. Solid ladder, not gonna kill, but gets the percent and sends Master Mario into the skies. Yeah, I mean, Master Mario, okay, there we go. We're gonna get that there. It's such a strong kill move, even from as low as it was on that platform on Pokemon Stadium 2. Finally gonna be able to get the kill on a light character like Meta Knight. Now, uh, I mean, S2H in theory has the lead, but we know Mario. He can easily take back the stocks uh, with a quick up air combo on this kind of stage, so. Okay. S2H still got to be careful, and you can see that he's not trying to go a little bit too crazy on his offense. He's using that pivot to try to stay away from Master Mario, throwing out safe smash attacks to try to try and stay away from the offense that is Mario. We're gonna get the up air strings. He di's away from the stage to make sure he does not get fared. Yeah, he knows he knows what's coming immediately. Okay, S2H sends out those downers just to counter the up airs, but he gets caught on the landing. Yeah. Master Mario not too far behind, but he gets that back air and even up the stocks in terms of percent as well. Yeah, but S2H, he saw that his percent was climbing, pulled out a panic of smash option to try and take out the stock before things get a little too hairy. Yeah. That ended up being the equalizer for Master Mario, getting that forward smash, getting a strong hitbox to seal out the stock, and we're bringing it back to even percent here on last game scenario, or excuse me, last stock scenario on game one. Comes in with a dash attack. That's kind of been in this bane of existence so far as we've seen tonight, right? Went for a dash attack against the cat. Goes for a dash attack against Master Mario. Both players were able to catch it. Ooh, Fireball oh. into the extension with that nair. Very I like it stuff. because S2H immediately pulls a little bit back and goes for a jump, making sure he doesn't have to go for into a tech situation. Alright, Master Mario just staying in the dash attack situation. Goes to the skies and uses that nair to pressure. It goes in for another tech chase situation on the platform. Looking like he might try to seal out the stock very soon, but S2H has got the control right uh, now. The S smash does not work out there. I wanted to see the grab, but the forward smash would have been too much of a risky option. Good angle on the shield, S2H holding it down for that last second. Yeah, and Master Mario is still pulling out the panic spot dodges after the up smash doesn't work out in close oh, combat. Yeah. So S2H able to get punished there, but we're still close on this last hit scenario. The cake comes out, doesn't throw out the hitbox, so not as much lag, and he's gonna throw away the hitbox by putting a hitbox of his own on that fireball. But Master Mario still on the chase right now. S2H trying to recover, trying to make it back to the stage. Master Mario still on top of him. What throw is he gonna throw out? He's gonna back go through a back throw, yep. Gets the, gets the edge guard reset here. S2H has to pick and choose a landing option properly, and he goes for the jump at the wrong time. Master Mario up there to meet him up with an up air. Oh, that was a great DI mix up there. Going for the up air instead of the back air. He was DIing inwards for that just in case, but he got hit by the up air. Sent him straight up to the skies. Yeah. This guy take out the it, it was a reversal, man. It was a reversal. S2H had a lot of the control game uh, at the beginning of the game there, and Master Mario had a few different trades there in the neutral, and that's what kind of made the game for Master Mario here is the neutral winnings. S2H had the percent leads there, but the neutral winnings were more in Master Mario's favor. S2H, a little bit of rubbing the eye. Hopefully there isn't some salt in there. Let's we'll see what he can do in the next game. Hey man, it's Master Mario's hair. You, you notice how it's getting goofier with every local he goes to? That's, yeah, that, yeah. That, that's his brain. That's getting, a, yeah. you know, if, you take out, if you take out one strand of hair, you're going to see a little bit of pink in there. That's and you true. can see that brain just getting bigger and bigger with each play. We actually like to call Master Mario Ernie. He looks like Ernie from George Lopez, the George Lopez show. <laughs> so if you ever see Master Mario, me, me and Nico like to call him Ernie. We'll see if Ernie here can go ahead and get S2H. Oh, good big pickup with that down oh. throw. Oh, S2H gets away from it in the nick of time. 
I like what he did there. He DI'd basically right on top of Mario. That way, the diagonal moving up B wouldn't catch him there and potentially make him lose his next stock. But already 92%. And he goes in again with another grab. Tries to go in immediately with that fair, but it does not work out for Master Mario. Yeah, SOH moves immediately. Using those jumps is a great option there. Moving away from that forward air. A little bit aggressive here at the ledge. He has to be careful when he lands because Master Mario's been good on the landings here. Using those fireballs to make an approach, s Switch definitely scopes that out and he's reused the tech roll. I'm telling you man, s Switch is a fan of that forward smash for a good reason. I mean, it was one of his best tools in Smash 4. It's yeah. a good tool now, so it's going to be able to take out the next stock. Even though Master Mario was controlling the offense for most of that first stock. Oh man, fool me once, shame on you. Once bitten, twice shy. And there we go, another spot dodge. S2H, yeah, I think a lot of these players are reading those bot dodges, but what's catching Master Mario into these win situations is that his offense is just working out so much better uh, in most of these scenarios. But we're going to get a ladder into the up B extension. Still not enough on Town and City. But can he make it back oh, yeah, in time to punish him? He does not, but he makes it back in time to return to neutral, go back into reversal situation, and we're back in neutral one more time. I like the it. Boxing scenarios. I like that. Pokes his shield, immediately gets away, but unfortunately, yo, man, why, why is everybody spot on? <laughs> I like this tonight. Hey, it's a pretty good option. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's the problem though. S2H got away. He made a poke and said, you know, let me get away from this situation. I don't want to get hit by up smash. And then when he comes back to it, he gets taken up by the up smash. I think what it was is that Master Mario just was waiting. He didn't throw out any hitboxes. S2H yeah. was thinking to himself, okay, I need to wait for this hitbox. And once I shield it or dodge it, then I'll be able to go in. <laughs> but he's not throwing out that hitbox. Yeah, so he's, he's just not, in a constant not, state of waiting. <laughs> and that leaves S2H to get hit right there, lose his stock. But. Great carry over to the corner, gets that forward smash on the ledge one more time, taking out yet another stock. Yeah. Gets that down air. x with solid spacing, but he gets hit by the up throw. Uh, unfortunate uh, short hops, unfortunately, instead of full hops to get that combo started. And now we got the Kalos version of Town and City going on right now. Interesting, a Master Mario thought maybe s would go down for an edge guard, try to intercept them there. Oh, gets caught by the Nair, and immediately s just gets to get up attack. Yeah, solid like ladder. Is that and enough? Nope. No, Town and City, so high ceiling. Gonna be able to work out. Wow, force a true spike with that grounded fair, but still not gonna be able to take out that stock. Yeah, man. Master Mario is still a little bit behind, but we saw this scenario in game one. S2H had a very significant lead, and then he just got a little bit finicky there at the end, but that dash stack to upbeat will be able to do it. S2H nope. will take. Never mind. <laughs> you, he was close to you. You yeah, saw I, it. You saw the critical hit. I hate the stupid red lightning. It never works, man. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Game broke. It, it, was like that, it was like that in Smash 4 too, where we got the thunder. Yeah, but this thing makes a big deal out of it. Oh like yeah, with the zoom does. in and stuff like that. But anyways, S2H gonna try to recover back one more time. Down smash, breakdance on him. Take out the next stock. 132%. Rage is not as prominent in this game, but it's still gonna be potentially a factor if Master Mario. Oh can get a no! Oh <laughs> no! He went for it at the wrong time. Why'd so you do upset. that? Why did why I did why did so you do that? Upset. I, I, I just don't think S2H was thinking about it. I, he, I, sure, he was thinking. Okay, I, I, I got the angel platform invincibility. I'll just yeah. go for this up B right now and just finish he it off for, and move on to game three. He went for the up smash, and I respect that option right there because I get it. He wanted Mass Mario to let go of shield, go for an out of shield option, and catch up with the up smash. The biggest problem that he made there was going for the up B. He fired a little bit too hot. Yeah. I... I, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, he just he just thought he he thought he had even more significantly than he did last time. Yeah. So he thought he could just get away with it, but he didn't, and he put himself in the worst situation possible against a character like Mario. So we're going in with Master Mario with the 2-0 lead here in losing semis. This is best of five, so s 2 has got a little bit more time to try and calm himself down. Yeah. And before things get a little too hairy, but right now Master Mario moving in with a lot of momentum, getting 76% right there with that yeah. big combo. He definitely took that victory into heart because he saw that. He's like, hey, man, if you really want to go for that one. Fine, give me, give me game three. Give me game two, and let's move on to game three. There's the hard landing option, a little bit of defeat from S2H. I mean, I respect both players right there. S2H trying to do the fade back, just make Master Mario think that he could not get like an up smash or something, or an anti air. But then Master Mario, one step ahead, is like, okay, you're gonna go land right in front of me. I got this force match, it's got pretty decent range. I'm gonna take out that next stock. That, that fade back was a little more like an air ball, man. <laughs> <laughs> if we're talking about NBA plays, man, that was an air ball. Oh boy, yeah, indeed. Get that forward tilt, try to get a little bit more control. Still not working out though. Spot dodge it again, man. I mean, it is a giver and taker of life. That time the force match came out a little bit too early. If S2A charged it, it would have been working out fine, but it didn't quite work out there. Oh, uh, Master Mario a little bit too high. It's the grab, a little bit of a pummel here. S2A just putting extra percent to push Master Mario into the ledge. Back throw, gonna take an edge guard reset for Master Mario. 
All right, let's see what the ledge option is. Tries to throw out the back air and go in with the offense one more Facing time. Facing the wrong direction. Back air still a strong move, though. That'll be able to take out the next stock, but SMA did a really high percent, so he's got to be careful. He's got to play the neutral look of God here if he wants to look at a possible comeback. Starts off with the dash tech pretty nicely, though. Yeah, you can see Master Mario just keeping his back <laughs> towards S2H. That way he can get the up smash if he goes into the ill-advised dash attack or dash grab or something like that. And trying to get something crazy there with those boxing defense scenarios. Doesn't quite work out there. Gonna get another back throw. Barely not enough to take the stock, though. S2H at that situation, man. He had a grab in the hands, dude, and he just gave it up for a... Yeah, the shield. Okay, solid ladder. Oh, my man was robbed. My man was robbed. Hey, hey man, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. He was at yeah, low, yeah, he was yeah. low percent. You got to understand sometimes the hit stun just is not there. So you got to read a defensive option first before you continue your hey, hey, Yeah, you're right. The hit stun was not really there, but that felt like he was robbed. Yeah, that, that's just a difficult scenario. I mean, that that light up. Oh, wow. Dropping the shield there at the last second and uh, gets caught there. S2H's opportunity here. He has low percent still. He could possibly make a comeback here. He's got to play it pretty nicely against Master Mario. Oh, another pick up with that up air. Gets in there afterwards to send him onto the platform. He should have been looking for the fadeaway fireball there. And unfortunately, he got caught by Master Mario's approach after that fireball. S2H gets in there. Good back air there. Not going to kill, but gets put good shield there on the platform. Got good pressure on the platform. S2H just trying to find something right now. Goes in with that down tilt. Not able to find a tech chase situation. Master Mario comfortably going in with his aggression one more time. Spot dodges through that down tilt and gets the four smash afterwards to close out with another 3 0 here in this bracket. Mario. All I know is, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's not wrong.